Hello, everyone. I'm Virginia Pradhan, and I have an encouraging message for you. If you are enduring a hard time or just a joyful time in, in your life, and I am doing again, I had some troubles with Facebook. My uh, uh, encouragement is from Job 37, and the three lessons that we all can learn from it. Number one is hear God's voice in your story. Elihu, Job's uh, friend, correctly uh, was able to see and tell Job about God in the storm. And he explained and encouraged him to look for, to hear the thunder of his voice and what the voice of God can do even during the storm. Number two, where is your advice or encouragement coming from? in any circumstances, from your friends, from culture, from God. Elihu's, Elihu, Job's friend, had has a final advice to Job with some kind of bad advice and troublesome uh, wording. In 1, 14 to 18, he said, you don't need, you don't know as much as you think you know. And it's true, sometimes we don't know. But Eli tells Job, stop, trying to speak to God and simply fear him. In fact, Eli, who wrongfully believes God is, uh, Job is arrogant when, he's, when uh, uh, he is telling Job, if you insist that God owes us an audience, then please tell, tell us what we should say to him. The problem that Eli returned to is his theme that God is distant from us and we know that he is wrong. In fact, his friend wants to encourage Job from insisting that God wants uh, from all of us to have an audience with him and that he will explain. We know that he is wrong in that. God welcome us in his presence and answers our questions and our prayers. Elihu believes that maybe just as the storm will disappear on all the darkness of clouds and uh, the air will be clean, maybe God will reveal himself, his light and truth, and Job will be able to see that. He is wrong. We can learn about God from the storm, from in the Bible, from his past from our experience. So be encouraged, no matter what your friends will say or will advise you. First of all, be careful with your friends. Second of all, learn and spend time with God in joyful time and in suffering to, to hear and to see God. And third, God is always with you. He has a reason for your life and for your suffering, and he will reward you for your faithfulness. You are never alone. I hope this encourages you. And if you need more, please go to virginiapradanbooks.com slash contact. Tell us your needs and your prayers, and we are here to help you. Until next time, be blessed. Remember, hear God's voice even during the storm. Blessings. Bye-bye.